Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from Today's iPhone.com and this is the iPhone 5. Uh, you've probably heard a lot about this phone recently, both, you know, in videos and in articles and stuff. But today we're going to take like an in-depth look at it and I'll give you my review. And uh, yeah, so let's begin. So obviously right now we're looking at the outside of the phone and you can see, let's start with the back. We have the black uh, metal on the back. It says anodized aluminum. And then on the top and bottom, we have the glass inserts. Now, these are here to help with the signal, you know, because if you had a fully metal back, uh, not much signal will be able to get through. So these are here to uh, facilitate, you know, making calls and sending texts and stuff. And uh, on the side, this is the right side, we still have these black antenna bands, but they do not affect the uh, signal if you, like, death grip it anymore. So that's definitely a plus. So we have the uh, nano SIM card slot right there. We go to the top and we have the we have the lock button right there and no headphone jack. That's been moved down to the bottom. On the other side we have the volume buttons and the mute switch, just the same. And then finally the bottom is a pretty big change from the iPhone 4S. We have the headphone jack here on the left of the bottom. Then we have the speaker and microphone grills, which are no longer, you know, covered in mesh. They are uh, drilled right into this aluminum unibody of the phone. Then right here in the center we have the lightning. Uh, port and if I just get the lightning connector right here, you'll see uh, This is the lightning connector. It's super small I was not expecting it to be as small as it is just to show you I'll give you a little comparison This is it next to a headphone jack. So it's basically almost the size of the headphone jack uh, so it's very small and that just fits in right there you can put it in either way so that's nice let's get that out of here uh, so the design of the phone I really really like it. It's super light which doesn't really make sense to me considering it's metal and glass uh, but it feels really great in the hand. We have the uh, I don't know if you can see it there we have the chamfered edge catching the light right there. It's a really really high quality materials and the and pr the precision with which it was constructed is definitely noticeable. Um, I've read a bunch of things that say like the Samsung Galaxy S3 which is a very good phone I'm not going to deny it feels like a, a cheap plastic toy compared to this thing and um, you know that's the one thing Apple's really known for is the build quality and the design of their devices really can't be beat because they won't really uh, put out a brand new device once every one or two years so they have a lot of time to perfect the design and uh, I think they've definitely done it uh, with this. Now the phone is also noticeably thinner than the iPhone 4S uh, just to give you a little um, feel about what it's like I have here a, a case for my iPhone 5, and with this case on it, the phone is just about as thick as an iPhone 4S with no case. So you really can feel the difference holding the phone in your hand, and even putting a case on it, like I said, doesn't add uh, any sort of bulk that would get in your way, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, now the front of the phone has also received some major changes, first of all, the um, camera, the front-facing FaceTime camera and the light sensors and that stuff have got a slight uh, rearrangement so now the camera is centered above the earpiece which is just uh, better looking. We still got the home button on the bottom but the biggest change to the device is the big four inch screen we have here. A half an inch doesn't sound like a big uh, addition to the screen but I gotta tell you guys this is a huge addition. Um, you can see it fits a whole another row of icons on the home screen perfectly. Everything on the bigger screen really does look fantastic, so uh, if we go into Safari, I'll show you full screen browsing. Now, apple.com doesn't have a mobile site. So you can see, it really uh, takes up the whole screen, and uh, it looks great on this bigger 4-inch display, and there's a huge difference between browsing on this phone and browsing on the iPhone 4S or anything below it, which frankly, after using the iPhone 5, the 4S screens feel really cramped and uh, kind of pushed together in, a, in an uncomfortable way. So I'm really liking this screen. I'll show you guys a video now. Let's see if I have anything. Uh, okay. Uh, Year in the Life of J.K. Rowling, and you can see... Here, I'll turn. The, the picture really takes up the entire screen. There's no letterboxing or anything like that. Um... It's a really enjoyable experience to use this phone, watch videos, browse the web. So Apple took a lot of time getting into, you know, the bigger screen and upping the screen size of the iPhone. 
but once it did, uh, it, it did it right. So no complaints here about the screen or any of the physical design at all. Now as far as camera is concerned, not much has changed from the iPhone 4S's camera. The interface for the camera has changed slightly just because, you know, the pictures don't actually have this aspect ratio, so Apple added this darker bar with all the um, with all the controls right there, so that's not that big of a change. You can see though that the shutter time is really, really fast. There's almost no delay. You can take tons of pictures right in a row. Um, switching to uh, cam video mode is super quick as well, and you see that does take up the whole screen because it's a widescreen video, so we can switch back. And um, if we switch to the front, we now have an HD FaceTime camera. Hey, that's me right there. Okay. Um, so camera quality has been very cool. Now one super cool new feature is panorama mode. Um, and that is, you know, this has been rumored for a while, but all you have to do is slowly move your phone around and it takes a panorama picture. And as you can see, looks pretty good. There's no breaks, there's no issues with uh, stitching the images together. So that's nice. That's not a very exciting picture, but what are you going to do? Now the faster shutter time in the camera and stuff is partially due to the camera, but mostly due to the amazing A6 chip that's powering this phone. Now guys, of all of the biggest improvements, you know, the new design, the bigger screen, the A6 chip is by far my favorite. I'm coming off of an iPhone 4 running a beta of iOS 6, so it was sluggish and slow and buggy, and this phone is basically instant in almost everything. So let's see, we'll open up Twitter, uh, scroll through that, and then we can open up videos, open up Safari, and everything just moves so quickly. Even the camera, you see how fast that opens. It's really, really noticeable. Sound quality out of these speakers and out of the earpiece and out of the headphones, oops, headphones on the bottom now, uh, that's all been pretty good. I haven't noticed much of a change. There is a third microphone right here on the front of the phone uh, to help with noise cancellation and with, you know, FaceTime and that kind of thing. Um, I haven't noticed too much of a change with that, but it was good on my previous phone and it's still good on this phone, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, one thing that I have to admit I have kind of a problem with on my iPhone 5 is battery life. Um, my battery tends to die pretty quickly. You can see it's at 96 right now, but I've charged it a couple times today. If I listen to music and I'm surfing the web at the same time, it can drop 10, 20 points within like a matter of one, one and a half hours. Uh, so that's definitely a problem. I have been using it with the LTE turned off to try to conserve battery life. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys don't experience this. Let's just hope it's either an issue with the software or maybe I just got a dud and Apple will be able to help me out with that. But um, yeah, battery life, I've heard it's either hit or miss. Some people are reporting that it's great and that you get like a day and a half use out of it. Some people are reporting that like me, you have to charge it a couple times a day. Uh, so that's really up in the air. I'd love to know your guys' experiences with the battery life, so you can let me know in the comment section down below. Another issue you might want to keep a watch for is scratching. Now this is particular to the black version of the iPhone because it has a layer of paint on the uh, aluminum. Uh, now I guess people are experiencing pretty easy scratching off of this darker paint. Uh, you won't get it as much on the white and silver version just because uh, that's the natural color of the aluminum, so there's no nothing to scratch off. Um, I didn't really get any scratches right out of the box, but people have, people have gotten them just placing them down on, uh, you know, a desk or something. So if you have the black iPhone and you are worried about scratches, I would definitely make sure to use a case or maybe like a skin or something just to keep your device looking pristine. Other than that though, guys, I have to say I really, really love this phone. It's super quick, it's super light, it's sleek, it's awesome to use. I 100% recommend it. I would say if you if you have an iPhone 4, 3GS, anything below it, it's definitely, definitely worth the upgrade. If you have a 4S and you have the money and you want, you really care about like the bigger screen and stuff, uh, it's still probably a worthy upgrade, but don't feel compelled to upgrade from a 4S just because, you know, the 4S is still fast. You still get Siri. There's no uh, exclusionary features in iOS 6 that the iPhone 5 gets that the iPhone 4S doesn't. But otherwise, this has been my review of the iPhone 5. 
I hope I was helpful. If you have any other questions or anything you want me to go over or, you know, clarify, please let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.